Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Cape Rugby TV Wednesday night, 9 o'clock, nice to have you along. As always, a hectic weekend it has been for everybody. But thank heavens we now have got rugby back up and running. The weather certainly has uh, played an impact on rugby this weekend. But nevertheless, some of the teams still took to the field and it still ended up being another successful rugby uh, weekend for uh, the world of club rugby. My panel this evening, of course, none of them any strangers to Cape Rugby TV. We'll start off with our irregular pin-up model, Morgan Newman. Hello, Morgan. How's it, Jeff? How are you doing? I'm um, pretty good. Uh, I see you particularly like that statement. Yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it's the best introduction I've given in the last uh, 30, 30 episodes, I think, so. <laughs> yeah, keep it going. <laughs> keep it going. Ishmael Dolly, how are you, my man? Thanks, Jeff. So it's nice to be back on the show. No, oh, no, it's great to have you here. Uh, <laughs> seeing as you know how to do the show inside out. No, we don't have to prep, <laughs> we don't have to prep you anymore. You don't even need makeup anymore. All you saw part of the furniture now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> other than some of um, our other models. Um, but a man who <laughs> always demands that we put the makeup on him, uh, Mr. H. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> I'm, I'm quite impressed with these two young men, you know. They, every week they come with a new sort of angle yeah. that puts them a little higher up <laughs> somewhere. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll watch them carefully in the yeah, next couple Well, of you weeks. know what the, the youth are like of, of today. Yeah. Anyway, we've had some fantastic results, of course. Uh, as I said, uh, just very happy to see that uh, Club Rugby managed to continue rolling out this weekend, even though the weather was absolutely shocking. We had so many cancellations. People were just posting it on Facebook and on Twitter. Game cancelled, game cancelled, game cancelled. But nevertheless, the, 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 the guys with the good fields and the diehards went out there and they either moved the game to another field, a side field, or, or uh, otherwise went on and, and managed to get the game going. Um, but, but nevertheless, a lot of teams out there were still pretty smart about it and played the games without damaging any of their fields. Let's quickly take a look at the results in Super League A, which I think where some of the main results came from. Uh, Vicks against Belhar, 12 all. Big result there for Belhar. They'll be happy with that result. And another monster result, Hamilton's beating Marty's. I think a lot of people will be very shocked at that result. And Belleville drawing with Durbel. Once again, two or well, three very surprising results. Um, Ish, let's start off with <laughs> you there. Um, I mean, Hamilton's uh, and Marty's, because uh, there's an obvious panel member here that I would have to <laughs> talk to about that, and, 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 and I'm going to make sure that I don't. Um, Hamilton's uh, would be thrilled with that result, beating Marty's. I think Morgan will uh, disagree with what you just said in terms of surprise. I think it was expected coming from him. But a massive, massive, massive result um, with Captain Morgan over here. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah. I paid him to the show. <laughs> you paid for that. And also uh, getting the man of the match award. Uh, I think all things are, are going good for my young man over here. Um, definitely leadership uh, relishing the role and mm. um, good stuff happening at Hamilton's. But Morgs, uh, let's ask you about that. I mean, you were there on the day. Uh, you captained the side on the day. Hammies against Marty's. Uh, obviously, you got the inside track there. I mean, I think you were player of the year at Marty's last year. Is, uh, is this, was this maybe a strategic maneuver on behalf uh, of Anton Bormann saying, well, le let's take uh, last year's uh, <laughs> Marty's man of the match and make him the captain <laughs> against them this year? <laughs> no, look, I don't know. I don't think I, yeah, I mean, look, it was the 14 other guys in the field, and uh, the guys definitely rocked up to play. I mean, we also, our game was also incidentally moved to the C field at Hamilton's. The, the A field is just way too waterlogged. So we moved across to the C field, and obviously I think that also played into our hands. We often train on that field. And well you know no, well let's move to the game itself, yeah. I mean, you had a shocker against UCT. <laughs> I mean, they, actually, they, they beat you. They scored three tries in the first 12 minutes. And you completely turn around. You come out and you beat Marty's, the log leaders. Um, and, you know, no one can, uh, can argue Marty's pedigree and the quality of the rugby that they play. And, and you beat them, 20, 2016, a convincing win. Yeah, look, I mean, again, uh, like you said, it's the harsh words that you have after the, after the loss to UCT. And then we come out and we really, the guys really rocked up to play some good rugby. And... Under the circumstances and the conditions, we definitely played good rugby. You know, the guys rocked up and 15 guys really pulled together and played some decent rugby. What does I mean. that mean, they rocked up? Give us some, like, basics. What does it mean when a team rocks up? The full no, no, well, I think generally they just came there with the right mindset, you know. Under the conditions, you know, it's, it's often a game that, that's going to be dominated up front. That needs to be, you know, the collisions are always physical when it's wet. And, and our defense was what wins games in the wet, you know. And, and, uh, and Hamilton's guys really came out and defended well for 80 minutes. And then we scored two, two good, very good tries. And, and you know, that's how we, we got our 20 points. So... I mean, if you consider, you know, that um, having lost to UCT the week before and then you play Vicks and Marty's in the same week, to have beaten both sides in, in one week is, is a feat that, that doesn't really often happen, you know. So the guys really for put their heads together and for a week really, really yeah. worked hard. The other result there that was uh, also a very good result was Belhar, Mr. H. Uh, I mean, Belhar had a, 
an up and down season and Vix mm. is nothing to to put their tail between the legs and Bellar comes out here and draws with Vix. Yeah, as you said, you know, they it's a great result for them. Mm. Um, I see that they were level at half time and you know they they clung to 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 that and they made sure that they will get some of the spoils. Mm. And it's good, you know, when, when, when those bottom teams uh, get something out of matches, you know, and you're not week after week that you're losing and losing and losing. So it's good for them. And I, I'm sure, you know, the you next few games that they're going to play, they, they will benefit a lot from that. Well, th it's interesting that you say that because my, my question to Ish is, um, um, it seems like some of the teams play um, uh, better rugby towards the end of the season. Like, you know, when they, 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 the chins are dropping and, and maybe they're at the bottom of the log and all of a sudden they start pulling out the firecrackers. It's definitely not a 100 meter dash. Um, it's a long season and some, some teams go through cycles and some teams perform at peak at various stages throughout the season. Um, rain is a leveler and it, mm. it has rained massive a lot the past, past mm. week. So one can attribute maybe that to, uh, to the conditions and, and, and the way the, the result panned out. Of course, um, a bit of a shocking result then, if, if maybe it is a leveller, but a, a, I would say a shocking result for Durbel, drawing with, um, with Belleville. Yeah. And well, again, I, I think w the weather played a massive role here. Mm. You know, Durbel likes to take the ball wide, he likes to run all over the place, and obviously they couldn't do that. In is, that is that where we're at this weekend? We're going to blame everything on the weather? I mean, is no one going to say that this team really was the better team <laughs> of the day? Uh, that this other team, they rocked up to play? I mean, Morgan was the only one there that didn't say, like, well, you know, probably <laughs> because it was his own team. <laughs> you know? He didn't say, well, you know, the weather yeah. played in our favor and it was slippery. But uh, uh, is that the but case? Yeah. Was, I mean, was that, a, is that the scenario? Like, it, it was a weather, a weather game for everybody? No, you know, I mean, you know, issues, the old cliche of it's a, the weather is a leveler, but at the end of the day, you still got to rock up, you got to play mm. for 80 minutes, and you got to put the points on the board, you know, I mean. I mean, look wet weather for both sides. It's exactly, yeah. I mean, that's, and that's the big thing that, that the teams don't realize, is that you go out there, and you still got to score the points, and you, <laughs> whether it's wet for you, the ball's just as wet for the opposition, yeah. and you still got to defend well, you still got to, you know, all your structures still got to fall into place for you to win games, so. Whether it rains or whether it's sunshine, I mean, then you can turn around and say, well, is the sun a level too because, you know, <laughs> well, because of the heat, you know? Yeah. So <laughs> it, 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 it's, there's, there's lots of different ways of yeah. looking at it. I think it's just a level of the heat when we see you models in your feet. <laughs> 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 but the other, the other thing also, maybe, is that, you know, we're close to the end of the season. And guys now look at the, at the log. And a little of complacency yeah. might creep in, you know. Level, level, ach, man, you know. Mm. This is our five points, and the same with with uh, Vix, you know. You, talking about the weather, though, I mean, we talk about people of, uh, or you, you talk about how the weather might impact the game, but the weather also seems to have a massive impact on the people. I mean, mm. your players, you, you're cold, you're miserable, you've got to practice. Asha, that's, 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 uh, you've got to dig deep to come to all these cold, wet practices. Huh? <laughs> Definitely, and you've got to be as creative as possible as a coach just to try and get the guys down to training. Because, I mean, you get all the different excuses from cold to flu to various different different illnesses that the guys and, and excuses that they come up with. Yeah. But um, you have the diodes that usually come down. And um, for them, you take your hat off because they are the ones that, that uh, really keep the club together and keep the cu club going. Now, I must say, I'm still <laughs> absolutely blown away when I look at some guys will probably in that weather go to the shopping mall in short pants and pluckies. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, although I must say those short pants would probably be khaki pants and, uh, a, and khaki, socks. a khaki safari <laughs> suit, you know, because you do wear a plame glatte. This must not go over here So, no man, come to the place to raise your cover here. Anyway. Right, folks, so some interesting results there then in Super League, eh? Uh, Vix uh, drawing with Belha, Hemmings and Martis and Belville and Durbel. Um, and then in uh, Super League B, but hang on, before we go to Super League B, folks, let me just remind you, uh, the results, share them on Facebook, our Facebook page, www.facebook.com forward slash Cape Rugby TV. Now, over the weekend, so many people are jumping on Facebook and they are sharing their scores straight after the game. It's a perfect time to share a score. Uh, when it's all fresh and everybody wants to know what the other team's score is. So it really is a great opportunity to jump onto Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash Cape Rugby TV. You can see it on your, on your screen right now. 
and that of course helps us to all share the scores and results before uh, Monday when Western Province uh, uh, Rugby of course put it on the website. And uh, the other place that you can share those results is on Twitter. Remember the hashtag, hash WP Club Rugby. Follow it on Twitter, that hashtag. And, uh, of course, our uh, Twitter handle is at Cape Rugby TV. And you can follow myself at JP Nordia or Morgan at... Uh, uh, Morgan at Morgan 12 Newman <laughs> as he likes to call himself but uh, anyway you can follow those those uh, results and don't forget on Good Hope FM on um, on a Monday at 20 to 1 when there's the Club Rugby 360 with Stan Mars and Dale and Oliver and then again um, staying on Good Hope FM on uh, Saturday at 20 to 9 on the breakfast show there on Saturday breakfast with Nick Hammond when once again um, Morgan and his squad look at the um, uh, the fixtures for the weekend. Well, hopefully it's not going to be this wet this weekend and we'll uh, see a lot more games. So let's catch up now with the results in a Super League B. Primrose 25-18 um, over Villages. UWC 17-10 um, against uh, Goodwood. Well, uh, fo folks, I think, of course, the interesting result there is Primrose against Villages 25 points to 18. A lot of people would have expected a bigger margin. Maybe the weather did play a bit of a leveller. It wasn't so long ago that we saw Primrose um, putting 50 points to three over on, on villages. So again, the question remains, was the wet weather a bit of a leveller or um, was it more a question of villages game improving and maybe Primrose is waiting for some of the other big matches like against False Bay. As we know, that game was canceled and uh, well, we still don't, still don't really know why the game was canceled. There was a tweet that went out, but it didn't really help us that tweet saying well we've made a decision to cancel the game we'd like to know why that game was cancelled um, if you're going to share something on Twitter it'd be a little bit more informative even though we do appreciate the tweet that it was cancelled so not too many people ended up going to an un unnecessary game but I think a lot of people are going to watch these three front runners being Primrose, False Bay and UWC who clearly have been the powerhouses in uh, Super League B but yeah good win there for Primrose against Villages 25-18 UWC beating uh, Goodwood 17 points to 10 UWC naturally will be thinking about the Varsity Cup coming up, of course, in, I think, probably in January next year when they get started again. Uh, while Primrose Villages and Goodwood will be thinking about where the league structures are going to end up. So that new format that starts next year is going to be interesting. And we'll, of course, get members of Western Province Rugby uh, on the show soon to tell us more about that format. Right, let's take a look at the results in uh, Premier League A. Elsie Trafir uh, going down to Scotstein, 15 points to 12. Silver Tree, I don't think that match actually happened. And Milneton, 42-3 against Van der Stel. The big result there was over the weekend, even though we're going to talk about Milneton's big result in a second, but Gerald Brock from Scotstein said, I must make sure, that and I mentioned that it's a big result, but yes, a good win there for Scotstein <laughs> over Elsie Trafir. The game we were at over the weekend was, of course, Milneton up against Van der Stel. Uh, the guys were out there with their super soppers. That's how wet it was. But it was an incredible day, well organized, all in support for cancer. And we uh, managed to catch up with a number of people on the day. But let's first take a look at the highlights between uh, Milnerton and Van der Stel. <laughs>
see, folks, it was clearly a very wet game on the day there. Mullerton, Funnestal. Funnestal will be a little bit disappointed with that result there. I know they've been <coughs> waiting for their opportunity for TV coverage after two seasons, and finally we've got Funnestal out there uh, or, or on, on the show. And uh, that does count. Funnestal, I know it's not a home game where we covered it, but you were at Mullerton and you're on <laughs> TV. To the boys of Funnestal, uh, nice to have you. And nice to meet you on Saturday, really. Great to see that so many of the students uh, who are studying at uh, Stellenbosch are playing rugby at Van der Stel. Good to strengthen that club there. So congratulations. I know it didn't go your way. It was a, a bit of a, a loss for you, but you were really <coughs> up against it. Ish, apart from the fact that that that, that uh, Van der Stel was up against a good side, being Mullerton, they were up against much more on the day. They were up against you guys and a team with spirit that you can't believe. Yeah, I think it was a very emotional day, um, not only for the people at Mullerton, but our president. Um, he was diagnosed with cancer a few weeks ago. And the fact that he went through chemo and lost his hair and everything was just quite traumatic to the whole club. Mm. And this day was filled with emotion and spirit and we could have played the Bulls on Saturday. <laughs> we were going In to do pink. So. In pink. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, it was a real, real nice gesture from the club to, um, to have cancer, the organization on board and benefit from, from this day. Tell us a little bit ab um, about the result. I mean, we, we, we spoke a lot about the day before in the weeks leading up to it. And, uh, you know, folks have been asking us, you know, wh why did we go to Milneton? Well, it, it's very simple. Milneton made an extreme effort to get us onto the show. They sent us every possible picture, invite, newsletter. They made jer jerseys. They came on the show. They invited us well in advance. And it was for an extremely good cause. And that was, uh, it was a no-brainer. This is where we needed to be. Mullerton against Van der Stel. But it's just tell us a little bit more about the rugby itself on the day. Um, uh, speaking to Eddie Turon, um, I mean, it was a runaway win for you guys, but you've got some pretty good, ba pretty good backs there. It was pretty close in the first half. Um, we weren't leading by too much, but um, gave them a bit of tongue lashing at half-time. Bit of a hairdryer treatment. And, um, <laughs> the hairdryer treatment? <laughs> yeah, you have to explain to us a little bit about the hairdryer treatment. No, nah, just... Um, I think our guys were a little bit caught up in the, in the moment and, and the game itself. And they just had to realize that there was firstly a league game at stake. Yeah. Uh, put all issues and, 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 th and the day aside, we still have to go play rugby. As Morgan said, um, we still got to go on the field and score the tries. And in the, f in the second half, we really came out um, all guns blazing mm. um, and scored four tries in the second half, uh, which, was, which was great. Yeah, as we saw, we saw some great tries there. Um, let's take a look now at... Uh, the uh, losing captain and coach of Van der Stel. With me is the captain of uh, Van der Stel, Willem de Bot. Uh, Willem, they had not endlich jelle richting gegaan vandaag nie. Biggie Rof, ek, ek vond ons die weer het eindelijk biggie impact gehad. Ja, kijk, ons, ons, ek kan nie wat ek weer het laan nie, het was lekker biggie. <laughs> ons maat, die, ek sien jammer ons het hier gekom om vir die man en drie punten op die boord te gee, nie as ek geim gebring nie. Maar ja, het is altijd lekker om tegen die man te kunnen spelen. Het is lekker gezonde rapie. En het is, en het is, het is, het is lekker om als een man op je veld te vallen neer, je houdt je op. En ja, het is, het is maar die voor ons die grote. Sorry, ons kunnen niet hele grote wezen, mannen. Maar ja, het is baie lekker om te komen altijd. Geniet jullie rugby dan, Stellenbos? Ja, kijk, jongens, maar studenten en zo. So maar so, as, ons het alle, ons het een paar mannen bij elkaar getrekt. En is, het lijkt goed, ons mannen lijkt goed. En ons, ons werk voor en toe. En, Volgende twee jaar, ik denk het gaan goed lijken. Het raakt al beter. Wat mensen samen mij nou is die uh, afrechter van Van der Stel, Werner Trieter. Werner, um, zoals uh, Willem nou net gezegd het, uh, allee, hy sê die geest is niet te hoog nie, maar, maar die boys is nog steeds zo so smal op je gezicht. Ja, JP, hulle het, ek, is nou, het was taai geweest vandaag. het was niet makkelijk voor ons. Ik denk, uh, Muller het een baie goeie rek weer gespeeld. Ons is niet zo so lekker aangepast bij die condities nie. Um, en ons het gekry wat ons verdien, denk ek, vir die dag. Maar, zoals hij zei, dat is een jong span en die man is bezig om te ontwikkelen. Um, ja, en die geest ook steeds goed. Uh, ook kan je niet één game uh, wat je zwaar trekt beschrijven als een uh, los free season. Nie, so. Er was net een paar games hoor in die seizoen. Wat, wa, waarop zou jullie ons focus nou vir die, vir die volgende paar games? Want ons het nog zo'n so vier games vir die seizoen oor. Um, en ek sê vir ons ook, het is vir ons belangrijk ons thuis games wil ons graag wens, so dis waarop ons focus. En dan, elke, ons vat elke week vir week, maar vir specifiek ons thuis games is vir ons belangrijk. Here we are there, Werner Trutter and uh, his um, captain uh, giving us just a little bit of information about how things are going at Van der Stel. And uh, even though it didn't go their way on the day, uh, still not too negative and nice to see that the boys are still playing there with a positive spirit. 
But of course, on the flip side, we managed to catch up with the uh, winning captain and coach, and this time it was of Wilnerton. The winning captain, Eddie Caron, we've had him on the show before, and of course, uh, Ishmael Dolly, who we've got on the show now. Let's catch up with the winning captain and the coach out of the studio. <laughs> Fantastic occasion today. Crowds here, amazing people, a great occasion, and even in the weather, you guys are making it work. Yeah, it was difficult in the first half. We knew Funestel was going to pitch up and come for us. Um, we weathered the storm. We didn't play to our structures. It was hard. The field wasn't, wasn't too kind to us, but um, yeah, it was good. We came out in the second half and we knew what we had to do, but all credit to Funestel. They never gave up. It was a hard game, but uh, yeah, enjoyable. I mean, thanks for the crowd. They came up and uh, really gave us support. Was there a feeling today that you were playing for Cyril? Yeah, there's always, you know, when someone's sick in the club, ex especially a chairman or someone close to our hearts, it's, uh, it's like one of your family, you know, one of your limbs is sore. So when they hurt, you hurt. So we knew it was a big occasion, especially for Cyril. Uh, Nolene did a, did a lot of work for today. And yeah, of course we played for Sorrel, but um, we knew that the bigger picture is the club wants to go up and we got we to gotta do that, we got to deliver. Right, folks, now uh, with me is the winning coach of... Uh, of uh, Union Mill, Ishmael Dolly, and of course, uh, no stranger to Cape Rugby TV also, A.D. Jacobs. Uh, Ish, um, I think you should be on this side of the microphone, but, uh, you know, quite frankly, uh, a great result for you guys today. No, very impressed with uh, the guys' performance today. All credit to, to the boys, but thanks to Van der Stel for coming out and putting up a, a good effort. I think today's a celebration of, of life itself. Um, I think rugby is just a secondary to, to what we're actually celebrating today. So thanks to everyone that came out and supported the day. Um, it was for a good cause. Eddie, let's bring you into the picture here. Uh, tell us about the day. It was wet weather. Did you put on some serious points? Yes, obviously, I think the first half we struggled a bit uh, with the weather, but the guys stuck in the second half and the results went our way. Thanks to Van der Stahl, I think uh, they've, they're an awesome team. Uh, good luck, luck for the games and the spectators. I think it's all about you. Today's about the cancer uh, day. I think uh, to Saro, uh, good luck with your cancer and that. And Hopefully we can take it through these uh, another four games. Well, I'm sure, uh, as we've said, both of you guys and the amount of experience that the two of you have got combined, we're not going to add it up in years. We'll talk about it in matches, which is obviously leading into the thousands. Or, or kilograms. Or, well, or in kilograms. Um, <laughs> with a kind of... <laughs> I notice how you roll your eyes at, at your fellow coach over here. <laughs> but uh, with the kind of experience that you guys have got, um, you must be happy with your, with your season this, this far? far? And that it's going to just get better. Yes, I think uh, with the experience between the me and him, I think we, we young coaches. I think uh, people need to know that uh, we also learn in, learn a lot in this year. Um, but all all, all the pre, uh, all the accolades must go to the players. I think they stuck to their guns, and I think they 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 gave us the opportunity to coach them. I think uh, we must yeah. thank them for for for, for listening to us um, as young coaches. It's not it's a, it's a difficult task. But uh, hats off to them. I think uh, they, they really need to have all the accolades. Excellent stuff. Uh, once again, congrats, Adi. Um, Ish, just wrapping it up with you. Um, I believe that uh, both of you actually, before the match, were out here with the super sopper, uh, with the fo foam, the sponge, uh, uh, sucking it up. Um, it, it just goes back to show that to, to get the club rugby going, uh, sometimes one has to get involved. Huh? Um, it started on Tuesday night already. I mean, all the guys were in here with their brooms and sponges and... We're just trying to make the day work and uh, with the weather that we had over the past few days, we never thought it was going to happen. But with AD and his slops <laughs> and a couple of sponges, uh, uh, thanks to him and the rest, uh, I think the day went well. You can never get rid of a shark's guy and his slops. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Great spirit there amongst the boys, Ishmael Ali and um, of course uh, that Springbok legend, uh, AD Jacobs. Um, Ish, uh, we didn't show it on the interview there, but um, uh, folks were probably wondering earlier on what I was talking about, about the super sopper. You know, th I'm not going to ask you. Uh, I probably, I know I asked you, but Mr. H, you, you know the super sopper that they use with the sponge before the cricket game. Yeah. Well, I, I was just going to comment now, you know, we always talk about role models. And on Saturday, I saw two role models. And the comments that I heard while they were busy, was fantastic. Tell us about it. What did you see? Because I saw a Springbok Center and a World Cup under 21 Springbok walking on the field with big sponsors, sucking up the mud and the dirt and pressing it out in buckets and pulling it off. And, you know, for me, it was fantastic to see 
that Ismail Dolly was the coach and uh, Andy Jacobs was assistant coach. Busy there on the field all the time. Yeah. Because I was there quite long. Obviously, I went there because I knew Mr. Dolly Sr. was going to see to it that I eat well <laughs> while I was there. <laughs> yes, you know? we knew that was going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but to me and, and, the, and the spectators <laughs> that were there, they were all, you know, they were commenting, look at those guys, you know, Springbok players that are doing this without being asked, without, and they just kept on and on and on until he had to run off to yeah. set the team. Yeah, yeah. But it was great. Uh, uh, that is the kind of people that you want in your club, you know. Yeah. Set the example. Don't wait for the others to come and do. Of course, the question we have to ask ourselves is, how do you get a Sharks player out of his pluckies when everyone else is wearing gumboots? Um, <laughs> but Ish, uh, tell us about the day. JP, um, it was unbelievable to see how the whole club just got together. Um, it started in the week already. But the Super Sopper. Okay. Oh, the Super Sopper. <laughs> well, <laughs> all of a sudden, you know, we just thought <laughs> there was puddles and puddles of, of, of water on the field and yeah. we just had to take off our boots, put on some goggles and get onto the field and, and drive that field. And getting a Sharks player on the, on the, on in the wet was not going to be difficult. <laughs> 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 getting a Cape Town boy might be. <laughs> I might just to go back a step though, you know, I arrived there and about two people came running up to me and said, listen, your samosas are ready, eh? <laughs> <laughs> My mom had them prepared a week ago already. No, I must say, I, unfortunately, I was feeling a little bit under the weather. I had to, you talk about digging deep, as you guys probably saw me on the day there, I was on my last legs. I don't know how I personally got through that day. I was, I've, I've been, I was man down with, with um, uh, a bit of flu and uh, came, came through to make sure we captured the moment because in, in, a, in, in this life, you either capture the moment or it's gone. Yeah. If you don't capture the moment, especially in the world of television, if we don't capture it, it's gone and we, we had to get it. And, and, and it, was, it was a day well worth capturing. So listen to you guys, extremely well done. But um, to another chap that did extremely well was of course, Marius van der Heppe. He walked away with the Evox Man of the Match. Evox is of course, the official sports nutrition supplier to Western Province Rugby and the DHL Stillness. Let's catch up now with our Evox Advanced Nutrition Man of the Match. Right, folks, Union Mill against Van der Stel. A big win for Union Mill today. Our Evox Man of the Match, who walks away with a thousand rand, courtesy of Evox Advanced Nutrition, which is, of course, the official sports nutrition supplier to Western Province Rugby and the DHL Stormers. The number 12, otherwise known as Superman, Marius, uh, Marius van Jeffer. Baie dankie, ek wil net dankie vir die span sê, sonder hulle kan ons niks, kan ek niks gedoen het nie. En dan wil ek vir die mense baie dankie sê, dat hulle uitgekom het. Die weer is hier baie lekker nie, die veld was hier lekker nie, maar weer eens baie dankie, dit is lekker om op so'n okasie te speel. Vooral in support van so'n belangrike ding, en dit is baie na my hart. En ek wil net baie dankie vir allemaal sê. Marius, luister, ek sien jy was bykie by die voer, is jy ook betrokken vir elke nou en dan? Ja nee, mens moet maar die manne gaan help, as hulle nie wil skoon maakie. So, jy moet maar, jy moet maar, as Eddie in die backline kan speel, dan kan ek ook maar sikker voor ingaan. Soos hulle sê, jy seker een slot in een cent is a body. Definitief. Like meer soos a bodybuilder in a bodybuilder is a body. Right, laat ons nou vir jou duisend eraan gee, jou voorzitter hier so, Sarel Oosthuizen, Sarel, daar is hy, wel gedaan, Marius, kom ek jy nader aan my, Sarel, ons hou jy check so maar net hier so. Sarel, goeie performance hier so van Marius vandag. Nee, hy perform altyd vir ons baie goed. Het is een van ons sterre, maar ons het een paar sterre. En die span speel ook baie goed saam. En hulle het nou uitgevind hoe om om in die gaps in te sit. So, hy is al een paar keer man of the match gewees. So, hy krij nie elke keer een duisend rand ongelukkig nie, maar... En lekker vir een klap raak by speel om een bykie geld te krij vir slagje? Ja, nee, obviously geld is een belangrike ding in vandagse ekonomie. Ons het nie, nie maar wel, niks van die klaps het geld om vir die ouds te gee, is wat ons wil nie, maar... So it's nice that Evox from Mons come out to help you so now and then. So congratulations there to Marius van der Heer for otherwise known what it looks like. Did everybody have their own name on it or is his nickname Superman? No, that's his nickname. The guys have given him that name. Because I saw you guys printed on the back of the jersey. Yeah, the jersey was a very special jersey. Personalized as the day was special itself. There we go. Talk about the jersey, folks. There you go. This one was given to me by Nolene Oosters and for the show, uh, there you can see it. Number five, uh, so I think this is your captain's jersey, huh? Yeah. And then a very special logo. Um, Union Mills, uh, also is this part of the 40th anniversary jersey? 
and then of course pink to to show the struggle against cancer so there you go folks beautiful jersey i actually was quite surprised that you guys managed to all managed to keep the jersey clean on the day <laughs> well all thanks to nolene i mean she's uh, she's done a massive a massive job in terms of organizing the day and, and making the day work um our goals were obviously threefold firstly to honor cyril secondly to create an awareness and educate the people about cancer and thirdly to raise much needed funds for an organization like cancer um the research and uh, providing um how can i say testing for especially the underprivileged uh, out there is, is really testament to the work that they're doing yeah now listen excellent stuff well done and uh just to show the uh where, where the gate takings and uh Cyril uh, Ostazen and his crew uh, raising the, the funds from the gate and handing it over to the cancer organization. We managed to just catch up uh, with them for a couple of seconds after the game to witness the handover of, of the funds and, and hear what the folks have to say. Let's uh, just see what they said there in that cancer clip. Right, but folks, as you saw, we just uh, handed out the uh, man of the match here at uh, Monaton to uh, Marius van Ever played a fantastic game. But today was a much more important day, a bigger day, a day that's been planned by Nolene and her friends here at, at Milneton. And uh, a lot of work went in today uh, in support of cancer. And with me is, of course, Lesne uh, Canham and the chairman of uh, Union Milneton, uh, Sarl Wistazen. Sarl, with a, with a woman be like Nolene behind you that's organized such an amazing day, I know you're struggling with cancer at the moment. You're putting on a brave face. You've got the bandana on. You're supporting it. But but, how do you feel? No, I'm feeling uh, pre pretty good today. Obviously, with cancer, you go and doing chemo, you go through your ups and downs. Uh, like I told all three teams today, uh, basically what carries me through these difficult times is uh, the, the results on the scoreboard. So every week, uh, when I'm feeling down, I get uh, sent the the results or I come down and watch a match from my car or from from the from the sidelines and then uh, when they performing and they top of the logs and they're getting uh, five points for you every game and, and that's all the teams then uh, obviously it carries you to the next week and so it's it's been much easier from that point of view well I think your bravery is ins inspirational and, and a lot of people will take a lot of uh, draw a lot of strength from just listening to your words. Um, Isne, I believe uh, Cyril has got a donation for you for the goat, uh, gate takings uh, here at, at Milnerton today. But w w Cyril uh, putting on a, uh, showing a, a, an enormous amount of character. Yes, absolutely. And um, I just want to thank Nolene and the rest of the team for organizing this event and choosing cancer to be the beneficiary of this event and to celebrate the life of people like Saul and everyone who's been affected by cancer. So thank you very much. Folks, you don't know what it means to struggle with cancer until it happens to you or somebody close to you. I personally have been affected by it. My mother died of cancer. She was in a coma for two weeks after being diagnosed with cancer and being uh, stricken in hospital. And uh, it was personally a very tough time. And if it wasn't for the people around her and the facilities in Cape Town, which most people don't even know about, um, the time I'm sure would have been a lot tougher. So that was something for me that resonated close to home. And Mr. H, uh, something you can relate to. Yes, I, you know, I fought cancer now for a few years. And uh, it's tough. But as you say, your family is with you, your friends are with you. And, uh, you know, and things, you know, sort of. It helps you. And you've, uh, beat, you've beaten it. I've beaten it, and I'm, 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 you know, I'm thankful that I could do that. No, well, we're thankful as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the whole yeah. Cape Rugby TV, TV show is, is very thankful. So please keep up the fight. Yeah, no, well, that's all that you can do, you know. But when it hits you, you know, it's, it's traumatic. Mm. And you go through life-changing uh, yeah. uh, things, you know, and uh, people don't always realize that. I've, I got a lot of courage out of the friends and the family yeah. you know, who supported me all the way. And that's, that's what you need the most. Oh, well, as we said to, to <coughs> Carl there, you know, clearly you have to be strong. And, and, and uh, um, there you go. You, you're speaking from experience. Um, and uh, yeah, so to uh, Cyril, uh, our thoughts are with you. Hang in there. Uh, Mr. H, uh, as you heard, uh, saying there that uh, it's a tough struggle and you draw strength from your friends and family and in your case we know that you're also drawing strength from your players around you there so once again after a 
fantastic uh, day like this, as we saw at Milnerton. Yeah, I'm sure it adds to the, to the strength pool, so to speak. But right, folks, we're going to take an ad break, and when we come back, uh, we'll take the results uh, in uh, Division One and the rest of the world of club rugby. We'll be back with you in a sec. Of course, a lot of other games took place over the weekend. Not all of the games, but a number of games did take place. Let's take a look at the results in Division One, uh, where we see Laguna drawing with Rockland, 13 all. <laughs> Hamadiers, well, it was 18-5 win for them over Busy Bees and Stellenbosch Coronations, going down to Wraithby. In Division 2, Masipumalele, a narrow win for them against All Saints, 27-22. Gardens Tech, 41-0 against Watsonia. Caledonian Roses beating Blue Jets, 25 points to 14. And Strand Pioneers uh, going down to Temperance, 17 points to 12. Uh, in Division 4, Young Brothers, that match we don't think was played. Kailicha, 20, also not played. And Thistle, 41-0 against Cities, won the uh, Simonsburg region. Blue Stars beating Languedoc, 22 points to 8. Um, Pumas 26-3 of Excelsior, and again the uh, Blue Swallows, the one league game not captured. Uh, Mr. Hatch, you uh, spotted some interesting scores there. Yeah, the Temperance Strand Pioneers, you know, I think Temperance only won one game so far this season. They play against the league, uh, the log leaders, and they go and beat them. I mean, yeah. that, 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 I mean that's an incredible result, uh, uh, <laughs> because uh, um, I know we went out to Strand Pioneers, yeah. um, and... Uh, and, and the Strand Pioneers, I think their only con match of the team that they were really worried about was Imitkawi. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so well done to Temperance. Because yeah. we, 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 we saw Temperance playing against um, uh, Perseverance. That's right. Yeah. And, and they uh, lost. They lost. Yeah. And uh, not great. Not, no, not, not <laughs> All right, folks. Of course, now time for us to do the Spot the Ball competition. You had an opportunity last week to take a look on Facebook, as we mentioned. You win for yourself a Cape Rugby TV t-shirt and a Lexar flash drive. You want to know where the ball is? Let's take a look. Well, the uh, grid, of course, A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, and C3. We gave our panel members an opportunity to look as well, uh, but let's go straight into it. Where is the ball? Is it A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, or C3? And there you see the ball right now in uh, A1. Congratulations then, of course, to Tom Moose Henry. Congratulations, Tom Moose Henry. You win for yourself a Lexar flash drive as well as a Cape Rugby TV t-shirt. This is the t-shirt that will be coming to you um, via Mr. Morgan Newman, who will make sure that you get the t-shirt. Cape Rugby TV t-shirt, this has become famous and popular. Uh, right, it's kind of difficult to turn it and twist it. But there you go, Cape Rugby TV t-shirt, loving club rugby, as it says on the back. Loving club rugby. We're going to make more of these. So everyone's asking for these Cape Rugby TV t-shirts, and incidentally also asking for those jackets. So Tom Moose Henry, you win for yourself a Cape Rugby TV t-shirt as well as the, uh, um, the Lexar flash drive. Let's uh, run through the logs quickly, but of course we know the logs are going to be upside down uh, because of the fact that so many games weren't played, there's been delays. And, but let's look at least uh, see who's at the top and who's at the bottom after the, the games played over the weekend. On Super League A, we still see Marty's on the top there having played uh, 14 games with 59 points. And uh, in Super League B, it's False Bay. They're leading Super League B, while in Premier League A, it's Solarians on 65 points. In Premier League B, Milnerton are firmly on the top with Young Peoples in second place, followed by French Hook. While in Division 1, Violets on 45 points in first place. Lagunia have played 15 games, they're on 41. So Violets look like they're going to have a home run in Division 1. While in Division 2, Masipumulele are, uh, uh, have played their 15. They've won 14 out of 15, are on 16 points, followed by All Saints and Caledonian Roses. While in Division 3, it's Strand Pioneers retreating Young Ideas. In Division 4, Kailicha, Bishop, Labors, Police, Young Brothers, Progress, Titans, Thistle, Delt, and Cities at the bottom. They've played 14 games, Cities has, and has won only one, naught points. Lower Pal, uh, 16 matches, they've got 74 points in the Pal region. Well done to them, Vineyards and Allendale in second and third place. While in the Simonsburg region, Lamott still leading the, uh, the, the rankings there. That's, of course, in the Farm League. So uh, well done to Lamott, who's doing very well there. The Farm League certainly doing well. And it looks like the Farm League and the rural rural aspects are, are getting a lot of attention from government at the moment. So, yeah, to the guys out in the Farm Leagues, well done. Nice to see you in the, in the club rugby structures. And keep it up. It's an absolute benefit to, um, to the communities. We'll take an ad break. And when we come back, it will be an opportunity for you to win for yourself an Evox Advanced Nutrition uh, Synergy Whey Protein as well as a tray of uh, water bottles for your team. We'll be back with you in a sec.
Evox Advanced Nutrition, uh, you want to win for yourself a Synergy Whey Protein, double three two eight zero. Get your cell phones handy right now, double three two eight zero. While I take the Synergy out from under the desk, cell phone handy. Okay. All right. Uh, as I said before, it's pretty heavy. It's the big two point two Synergy Whey Protein. This is what the Stormers are using at the moment, folks, as well as the Western Promise Rugby sides uh, and many other international athletes. Synergy Whey Protein. You want to win for yourself the Synergy. Just tell us. Uh, who is the official sports nutrition supplier to Western Province Rugby and the DHL Stormers? Double three two eight zero, and you win for yourself the Synergy Whey Protein. All right, there you see on your screen right now. SMS your name and answer to double three two eight zero, and just tell us who is the official sports nutrition supplier to Western Province Rugby and the DHL Stormers. Last week's winner will win a um, uh, way a water bottle tray, as I mentioned. Don't uh, be taking the tray for yourself and then uh, walking around in the local gym with it. It doesn't look cool. Okay, although I have seen some people walk around with a, a tray and like just one water bottle. Okay, if you're going to walk around the gym with a tray, make sure that it's got all the water bottles in, okay? Because if you're going to look stupid, you're going to look stupid like halfway. You need to look stupid <laughs> all the way, okay? And because it takes like 12 water bottles, if you've only uh, got one water bottle in, you'll be like 10% stupid. So rather, if you're gonna, you can go like six water bottles and that'll be like 50% stupid, or if you put in 12, you'll be 100% stupid. So like, seriously, better idea, don't take the water bottle tray to the gym with you. Just give it to your team. Okay, yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's the Evox that advanced nutrition water bottle tray. <laughs> Mr. H, is it going yeah, yeah. Huh? Why did you come on that long story? It comes from years, it radio. We tell us some stories. I say nog altijd, ons moet a Cape Rugby Kiwi a sort of a show story do. We make up four kinder and a like a choppy <laughs> braai. <and, laughs> yeah. ne? huh? Okay, but I'm not talking about like the way that other people see it. I'm talking yeah. about we do it cups of style. Yeah. You know, we'll get Mrs. Dolly to make some rutis for us and <laughs> some samosas and then we'll do some, uh, you know, some of our old collection. Anyway, folks, I know <laughs> we're getting sidetracked here now. Do we have a winner? Do we have an Evox Advanced Nutrition winner for the weekend? Yes, so uh, there you go. Willy Engelbrecht, congratulations, Willy. You win for yourself the Synergy Whey Protein as well as that um, water bottle tray courtesy of Evox Advanced Nutrition, the official sports nutrition supplier to Western Province Rugby and the DHL Stormers. Um, uh, Morgz, you guys use that water bottle tray, don't you? Yeah, we do indeed. At Hamilton's we do. We use quite, yeah, we put it to good use. And ah, it's you guys as well, actually. Yeah. What is in there at Hamilton's? What is in it at Hamilton's? Yeah, in well, the bottle. They, they, well, a lot of the, what they do is that the Stormers, um, in the water bottle, they actually, and Morgz will tell you more about this, is that at the Stormers they put two different uh, uh, types in, in the water bottle, but if, uh, they, they, for the players, uh, some water bottles have uh, plain water in it because a lot of players don't like to use the energy drinks during the game and they'll mark it off with, say, maybe a, a white tape and then Morgz, uh, there'll be some yeah, other... Uh, the, yeah, I mean, look, at some, of, some of the guys enjoy their Saturday crank and they enjoy their, their other, you know, sort of, um, uh, you know, sort of, you know, proteins are during the game. So some guys will put water in and others will be marked with them, um, will be marked with this, some black tape and that'll, that'll indicate that it's not water as opposed to whether it's NJ, Powerade or, or, or obviously mm. Cytocrank <coughs> or whatever, you know, these guys like to take during, during the game. Some sort of pre-workout, you guys use a pre-workout? Well, no, we use the Evox Rapid Recovery. Ah, um, right. We find that quite awesome and uh, it's very good results. The guys have been really impressed with the product. Does it help you get through the season? I mean, have you noticed any difference from like last season to this season? Massive, absolutely. Um, with Evox, um, the, the brand and, and the, the products that we're using, uh, it's really giving our, our, our players a lot of benefits and, mm. and the results are showing. Excellent stuff. I think that, that's, that's uh, it's good for us to be able to bring what the, what the, what the professional players use into this space here so that, that folks know um, what, what, what it is that they need to do to be able to emulate the kind of performance of, of the international athletes. And I think that's what we're looking for. Let's look at the fixtures. Um, hopefully we're not going to have any cancellations this weekend. <laughs> but coming up this weekend, there's going to be quite a couple of interesting matches. Let's see what's what's going on there in Super League A. Eh? Tigerberg up against Hamilton. There's a monster match. Marty's take on uh, Belvoir. Belvoir uh, Belhar up against UCT. And SK Warmers will be looking to get their uh, wheels turning again when they take on Vix at the track. While in Super League B, it's Hamilton, Brackenfell, Tales River, and UWC. In um, Premier League A, eh? we see Paul up against Silurian, Scott Steen and Macassar. Peniel Villages against Carfontaine Collegians and St. George's Elsies and Rangers. And of course, in Premier League B, Langa take on Strand United, Fanshoek take on Young Peoples, Manaburg Rangers take on Yester Refuge, Silver Tree up against Van der Stel, Strand are up against Milneton at Gastro, so it's an away game. Busy Bees up against Violet, Silver Leaf against Lagunia, this is in Division 1, Rocklands and Stelcor, Reiki and Northerns, Atlantis and Hamatias. 
While in Division 2, Kyle Moore take on Caledonia and Roses. All Saints are up against Young Stars, Watsonia, Blue Jets, Masipumulele, Gardens Tech, Young Wesleys and Blue Stars. In Division 3, Richmond Rangers take on Whistling Wheels, Champ Pioneers and Young Ideas, Peninsula Perseverance, Temperance and Curtisville. While in Division 4, we see Thistle against Progress, Police and Cities, ret at least not Retreat Delft, and uh, Young Brothers, Titans and Kyle And in the Power Region, Lower Pile up against Vineyards, Riverstone, Simonium, Violets, Albion's, Power Rangers take on Bloomfield United, Young Standards, Allendale, Young Gardens take on Peril United. We'll do the Leisure Hotels competition in a sec, folks, when we announce last week's winner. Of course, this weekend, we are going to go to Retreat. Retreat have been preparing for this game for a very, very, very long time. Mr. H? Yeah, it's the 150th anniversary. And uh, you know, like I know them, they like to party. So it will be a big party. I know the, the official ball is next week. But this weekend, the rugby day, it will be a great day for them. They've got an official ball? Yes, yes, uh, I think uh, they're <laughs> inviting the whole of Cape Town and all the... <laughs> so, yes, I know Keegan Bayers has been making a huge uh, uh, talk about the fact that Cape Rugby TV is coming to retreat, so make sure you get down this weekend. Allenby uh, Drive, Allenby Drive, Mork? That's yep, uh, retreat are taking on Young Ideas at Allenby Drive, so yeah, they've got a whole rugby day, they've got... From, I think, 9 o'clock in the morning, they've got activity going on right till through leading up to the main game, which is at 4 o'clock. Or so 3.30, sorry. So a whole day of entertainment. I'm assuming that I'm like a cause this. Your mom could make a bit of cash out of this business. <laughs> 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 All right, then Leisure Hotels. Now it's accommodation, bed and breakfast. Congratulations to last week's winner, Lorraine Davids. Lorraine wins for herself. A night's accommodation, bed and uh, breakfast, courtesy of leisure hotels so yes next week we'll give you another opportunity to uh put yourself in the mix to to win yourself uh that fantastic prize let's quickly look at the curry cup results there 15 14 win for western province over the cheetahs the bulls 15 9 over the Chikwas, and the sharks 33 25 for the golden lions um mustache what do you make of that win there it was a very close one at one stage there for yeah. province i think yours know, was bitterly cold there and yeah I think it would have been even colder if we had lost that, the game. But fortunately, we held out and we actually won uh, the game. The last few minutes was nail-biting and I thought we, you know, if we give a penalty away, we would lose it right at the end. But yeah. they did well you know, to come back from 14-0 early in the game and uh, they showed some real you know, is you, determination you, there. You, you're working uh, at Western Province now. Uh, I'm sure Alistair want to see a big improvement. I think um, the big improvement was definitely the scrums mm. uh, with Brock Harris playing his 100th game. Yes, I think he really course. stepped up yeah. and uh, we really dominated the set, that specific set piece in the game and that gave us the upper hand. Well, I can tell you something now. Something that we, uh, well, certain people have been working on for many, many years that uh, all of a sudden we're hearing all sorts of scrumming <laughs> coaches and experts talking about the new scrum law. They are now going to have to l understand the concept, one simple concept, which is uh, unfortunately hasn't been applied by everybody. Um, and that is, if you want to scrum today, you're going to better have to understand how to breathe. I know that doesn't make much sense to everybody, but today's scrum is going to be won or lost by the people who breathe the best. Is you think I'm off my rocker here? <laughs> Should we go to yoga lessons? <laughs> you, you'll, you'll be surprised. Uh, the thing about what people don't understand about <laughs> breathing, and I'm just going to throw this in there for the, for the fun can of you, it. Sorry, can you just spell? People might think you're talking about breathing. No, not breathing. <laughs> yeah. yes, it, it also does come down to breathing. Uh, it's about breathing. Now, yeah. martial artists have been doing this for many, many years. It's about if you breathe properly, you're able to compress all of your strength into your yeah. center of gravity in your body. And you don't have the luxury of momentum anymore in the scrum. So Bruce Lee used to do this in what was called the one inch punch, where he used to punch from his feet all the way through his body out into a small little impact. Now what the scrumming coaches of today are gonna have to learn is that if you have no momentum or distance for impact, if you already are at impact, yeah. You've got no limit for movement and there's no hit. So all you have then is the ability to compress your entire body and breathe and squat and push. And can you hold it? And that's what it's going to come down to. 
Jeez, can you write the thesis on Trump? <laughs> yeah, <I laughs> <Come on. laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> well, that, that's, that's, that's a fact. That's where it's going to come down to. So, uh, so yes, I can write you. <laughs> so, so that old, uh, you know, the coaches used to say, knip your boulder. Yeah. Those things are out now. You, 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 you have to look at something else. You know, they, they talk about the Argentinian scrum, which is known as the Bayada scrum. Yeah. And the Argentinians, they, yes, they talk about scrumming as they into an arrow format. But what they don't know, a lot of you don't know, is that the Argentinian scrum, uh, scrum, all eight of that scrum, will at the same time, before they, they will breathe in, one big breath, mm. and then all eight at the same time when they scrum will push mm. out. Okay, those are my two cents on scrumming. <laughs> that you can use him on Thursday night for yeah. what's your fee? It's <laughs> 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 about the same as Cape Rugby's fees. <laughs> 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 All right, folks, Curry Cup fixtures coming up over the weekend. Uh, of course, there are no home games this weekend for uh, uh, Western Bronze. It's the Cheetahs up against the Sharks, Kickers take on Western Bronze, and the Bulls uh, take on the Lions. Unfortunately, we run out of time this evening. We're not going to be able to do Super Brew predictions, but we will definitely be catching up with our Super Brew predictions again next week. Morgs, um, uh, Hammies, uh, are you guys playing... Uh, um, on Saturday? We're away at Florida Park, so yeah, it doesn't get any easier. And oh. as my stage said, you know, <laughs> you play these teams late in the season, they often get better, so we'll have to rock up and play some good rugby. And it's you guys got a, uh, I wouldn't say an, an, an easy game, eh? Oh, Strain's always a tough opponent. Let's hope for some dry weather and we can throw the ball around a bit. Yeah. And uh, Mr. H, uh, me and you, retreat. Are retreat. you available? Yeah, I'll be at the retreat. Oh, it's going to be a good day. Mm. Retreat. We'll see you guys, Allenby Drive, uh, when we go and watch Retreat uh, celebrate their 115th anniversary. It's been another fantastic show. We love having you along, and we'll see you again uh, next week, same time, same place. Don't forget to join us on Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash Cape Rugby TV. Bye bye.